that stuff comes down. Uh, nice. What is that, velvet? It's beautiful. <laughs> So, Hall & Lack is made by Fine Paints of Europe. Um, I think that Fine Paints of Europe is, is known for making outstanding paint. Um, Hall & Lack is their uh, Alkyd product. So, uh, we've been using it in a high gloss, and when you use it in a high gloss situation, I, I think that the first concern is contaminants in the air. Uh, you want to do your best to, if you can, have a spray booth where you've got proper ventilation. Um, there's even talk of setting up a small pool of water up to two inches and then when you set your door on it all of the uh, particulate in the air when it settles on the ground instead of settling on the ground so that when you walk or move things around it bounces up and it'll contaminate your freshly sprayed surface it'll actually get caught in that pool of water. Uh, using the product uh, we like to use it on doors front doors people really like their front door to pop it's a great place to use that product. Um, we've done quite a few doors recently. I recommend if you're doing a, a dark color, Fine Paints of Europe also has a clear base primer that can be tinted. Um, and typically when you tint it, it'll come actually to that same color just in a lower sheen. So that's a nice way to start off putting those finishes down. So what we like to do is we'll use that uh, clear base primer as our, as our first coat. And then we'll do our two coats of Hall & Lack over it, sanding in between coats. With the Hall & Lack, you really want to give it a long time to, to dry. I mean, I, I like to, if I can, I'll leave it over the weekend in between my uh, finished coat and my prior coat so that I know that when I come in on Monday, um, it's really ready, hardened up, ready for me to sand. Uh, for spraying, I've been using our HVLP. We have a little Binks pot system here. We got an AccuSpray gun. Uh, that's our little setup that we like to use. It's, it's a little small with a two-quart pot, but it's perfect for doing doors. Um, when I use this, I usually have to thin the product uh, at about 20%. Uh, so far, we've had great luck with it, and uh, I hope you try it. Here's a sample door that we use the Hall & Lack on, and you can see that um, this is uh, an old fur door and the soft grain's pretty deteriorated. Um, overall, it was in pretty bad shape. So what we did was we taped it off and we started with Fine Paints of Europe brushing putty. Uh, yeah, you can how see many scratch. Passes? How many passes? Yep. Someone that really knows how to use this stuff, how many One passes? or two. On something this yeah, fine, one or two. two. Yeah. If you only put on very, very little, you're not. You're, you're gonna, gonna burn right into the wood. Yeah. So when she says she'll go to the prom, just stop right there. Exactly. <laughs> and so we did a coat of the brushing putty over it. Um, after that setup, we sanded it down. Put a coat of the clear based primer tinted to this color, which is Rembrandt, Rembrandt red. Uh, and then did a good sanding coat. And this is actually just one hot coat. We're here in the, uh, in the Venetian in the VIP lounge. This is the owner's favorite room in the entire resort. And it's easy to know why. Uh, Venetian plaster in two different colors, gold leaf, a decorative faux finish. Mm -hmm. 